Hi everyone, welcome to this video. This presentation is entitled Tips and Tricks number 11, MOSFET Dynamic Model Component in QSPICE. So in previous video, Power Electronics number 87, we presented a simple dynamic model of power MOSFETs. I got some petitions from viewers asking for a component including this model so this component can be used in more complex power converters and we will be able to see what is happening inside the MOSFETs. We will be able to measure the current through the channel and the current through the different capacitances and through the diode and so on. So I think that this is very interesting and then today we are going to see how to implement this component based on our dynamic model of power MOSFETs. So here is the schematic diagram of our model. These are the parasitic capacitances, the current representing the channel and the body diode. The only thing that I have changed here is to consider that the source can be connected to any point in the circuit. So we are going to use instead of the voltage between the gate and zero, we are using the voltage between the gate and the source and also the voltage here between the drain and the source for this expression which is the current circulating through the channel. And then we have these parameters that we saw the other day. These are the parameters for the current through the channel, the three capacitances and the voltage and series resistance of the body diode. And using the netlist tool of QSPICE we can get the netlist and here we have the description that we need for developing the MOSFET subcircuit. Here we can see the model implemented in QSPICE. So we have the different parameters, the symbol, the name is going to be LNMOS, linear NMOS. Here we can see the complete description which is going to be embedded in the component so we don't need to carry any library with it. And here we have the different parameters that we can modify anytime. We can do a quick simulation to verify that everything is working correctly. Here we have the schematic circuit to obtain the output characteristics of the MOSFET. We are stepping the voltage between the gate and the source and then we will plot the current through the drain as a function of the voltage between the drain and the source for the different gate to source voltages. Let's run the simulation. So here we have the results, everything is working well. Now we can obtain the transfer characteristic of the MOSFET. For this we are going to introduce the perturbation here through the gate and then we will represent the current through the drain as a function of the voltage between the gate and the source. So let's run the simulation again. And here we have the waveforms, this is the current through the drain as a function of time. So right click here and write VG to obtain the transfer characteristic. We can show the grid and then everything is looking good. Finally we have here a simulation under hard switching operation. This is the same that we have seen in previous video but using our new component. So let's run again the simulation and here we have the waveforms. We can do a zoom here to see what is happening during the turn on interval and then now if we want to see the internal voltages and currents of the MOSFET then we can do like this. We add a window and here right click add plot and to see the internal voltages and currents we have to select here and then we can see here the currents through the internal components. Okay, So for example we can select the current through the channel here 
Here we have the current through the channel, or maybe if we want to select the current through capacitance CES, we can see it together with the voltage, the gate voltage, and also maybe the current through the internal capacitances CGD and through the internal capacitance CDS. Now we are going to do the same for the MOSFET with nonlinear parasitic capacitances that we also saw in this previous video. So here is the schematic circuit. Now the capacitances between the gate and the drain are going to be dependent on the voltage between the drain and the source, as we can see here, and also for this other capacitance between the drain and the source is going to be dependent on the voltage. So we have all these parameters as we saw in this previous video. From the schematic, we can get the corresponding net list, which is shown here, and with this we can implement our component. Here we have the component with nonlinear capacitances. We have called it NL and MOS. So these are the different parameters. Here we can see the complete description. And we can see also here the parameters that we can modify for the different simulations. Let's do a quick simulation test using the nonlinear NMOS. This is the same circuit for hard switching. And now we have included here directly the waveforms that we want to see, including the internal currents through the different elements of our model. So let's run the simulation. And here we have the results. We can do a zoom, for example, here. And then we can see the different waveforms, including also the internal currents of our model. These components will be available from the GitHub repository of this channel. Here is the link. So if you are interested, you can download these components and try them by yourself. Well, this concludes this video today. I hope that this information is useful for you and these components will be also useful for your future activities. Please let me know if you have any comment or question using the comments section of this video. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye now.